Hi everyone. So some time ago, I made a video on my Women Tech Maker Engineering Fellow Scholarship, and since then, I'm getting a lot and lot of questions about the application process, the dates, the resources. So I thought let's make a full-fledged video on that, and here I am today. So let's start. So. So first question is mostly always what should be my first language C it can be any language i started with C++ you can start with python also the coding test for 2020 and 2019 was in python so hopefully it is going to be in python in 2021 also so you can start with python but there is no bound like if you want to get started with C++ as it is in your uh, college curriculum or something like that you can easily get can get started i started with C++ only and i also started near september and uh, and when i got to know about the program in one week i managed to like learn the basic syntax of python and because all the concepts are same and there is just syntax difference so uh, one week is enough to learn the syntax we learned the syntax and i was able to manage it so you can do that also also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can also join the telegram group if you have any specific query or any specific topic that you want me to make video on and let's get started now now after this you all want that where you learn from how to get started uh, so basically i never did any courses or something like that because i'm never in favor of that i think that if you search yourself something like if you google every question yourself then you get to know a lot more than just that question so that's why i prefer to do it uh, all by myself so that's why i don't prefer courses very much i learned it all on youtube only so i didn't and learn programming in my 11th 12th so i started in my first year so how i got started is i started learning from youtube i started making codes like they were making in the tutorial and then i jumped to hackerang and started making problem then and, and slowly and steadily i was able to understand what's going on and in, if you are interested in learning about how i did and the complete road map you can check out this video it covers everything and all the resources now there comes another question that what will be the uh, difficulty level of the question see the pattern of the paper when i gave that was there will be a uh, 10 to 12 mcqs or one word questions and then three uh, like coding questions in which you have to write proper code so in one word question it is very important to have your basics clear because those questions are only designed so that they can test your hold on your basics i don't remember anything clearly but i do remember like there was a question from the decorators in python there was something about how dictionary works there was something like string concatenation and i think a bit marks question was also there so yeah so you need to have proper grasp over the basics and for the coding questions the first question is going to be very basic like maybe if an else statement maybe and the second question is going to be like okay okay it will be it was like a data structure question for me so i guess it was based on dictionary python dictionary and the third question was uh, i did that with recursion first question is very easy then the medium and then the hardest one but i was able to do that because i had some practice over that so uh, it is not very tough like the uh, second question if you have done like near around 10 12 questions on hacker rank you will be able to do it it can be as easy as like finding vowels in a word or like printing the fibonacci series or something like that also bit manipulation is a important topic so don't forget to check that out okay coming to the aptitude part aptitude test is same for all the exam so if you have ever prepared for the aptitude exam you will be able to do it so i have never prepared for any aptitude test because like uh, i have only given competitive exams uh, after my 12th like for for btech admissions only and they don't usually contain aptitude problems so the uh, biggest problem i faced was the time constraint so i guess there was like 30 questions in like 40 minutes and i just managed to did like 25 to 28 questions but yeah so if you want to practice for aptitude questions you can take up any book because they are all same and or you can just search on a uh, google and like uh, practice some questions and some mm, there are some basic type of questions that comes all over again so you can practice that that's what i did so now comes the english part so try to understand why they want to uh, test your english 
because the whole course for the two years is structured in English only. The whole classes will take place in English. So if you don't have a good hold in English, it will be very difficult for you to cope up. That's why they want to test your level. So there was, I guess, three type of rounds in the English test. Firstly, there was like a typing a speed test. Second, there was the understanding test in which we have to listen different sentences in different accents and we have to understand them and write them back. And there was the third round in which you have given a full paragraph and you have to like find the errors and all the grammatical and spelling errors. So if you want to improve the English uh, for the typing speed, there are many apps available. You can do that if you want. Uh, if you want to increase uh, the understanding part, you can just listen to the videos that are in English or you can just see the web series or the movies if you see them a lot in English without subtitles because it will be more effective then. And if you want to improve your mistakes and all, then you have to do some grammar practice and all. Then uh, there's also a part comes uh, that you have to send your resume. So uh, there is questions like how to make a good resume, what to put in a resume. So I have made a video on that and I have to just edit it. So it will be out in one or two days. I will put the link in the description when it is out. So you can check that out. The forms open near mid January and and it is open for two weeks and you have to take care of that. Uh, like until mid March, your all the rounds and all everything is completed. So you will be enrolled in the program itself if if you are selected. There were some mistakes that I did and my friends did that I want you to take care of. That uh, make sure that you have a good pair of like uh, ears and have a proper microphone and speaker in that. Because what happened was one of my friends who is very eligible for the program wasn't able to clear a round because her responses didn't get uh, like recorded uh, that's because her microphone wasn't working well so you have to make sure that you have a uh, like you have everything checked before you give any test also the test is uh, like little bit strict to try to not uh, do any mistakes for example uh, when uh, when you are uh, giving the coding test if you if you just tilt your head like this, it will give you a warning. And what happened was my friend was in a hostel room and uh, she just locked the room for giving the test. And in the middle of the test, her roommates came in. She just got up so that she can open the room door and she got the warning. So and uh, what happened with me? And what happened with me was um, when I was giving the test, uh, there was a my notifications were not off for my PC so a notification pop up and uh, they thought that I have opened another window so that's why uh, I got the warning so please make sure that you don't do such mistakes and make sure that you have all the notifications off you don't have any distractions and have a free environment where you can easily give your test also there's another thing that I want you to make sure when you write a coding question there are two type of format Firstly, you can get a function name and you have to complete that function. And secondly, you have to write a full code. Means you have to start with the headers and you have to write the full code. So what happened was some of my friends were uh, like used to write the full code and they don't know uh, about the function thing. So uh, what happened was when they were giving the coding round, uh, the format that came in was you have to complete the function, but they didn't know how to complete that function. So they wrote the full code in that all the inputs and outputs. And that's why they were getting wrong answer. So I want you to make sure that you know both the formats for the function format. You can use hacker rank and hacker. Earth. They both have the function format in which you have given the first line of the function name of the function and you have to just complete that and and inputs and outputs are taken care themselves and if you want to practice the full code you can just delete the functions given and you can just write the full code there so these are the two types of format i want you to remember so that you don't do this mistake in your coding test i think i have covered everything and please don't stress too much about the program and uh, you can just prepare aptitude uh, one two days ago or a week ago but i will suggest you to just start learning a basic new language and make uh, make your basics strong and uh, and yeah start practicing questions and when the forms are out then start preparing for your interviews and your uh, and your English proficiency and your aptitude. Uh, if you still have any queries, don't forget to comment it down below and I will be happy to help. I hope it, this helps you and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.